Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I'm going to be making a swap card. I am headed to San Diego this weekend for the on stage event with Stampin' Up! And I'm making swap cards to swap with everybody. And when you make swap cards, you usually just make card fronts and then you swap those. You make a bunch of the same or in my case, I'm making, you know, 10 or 12 of each design. And then you come home with a whole bunch of different cards. And I will be definitely sharing that with with you guys um, when I get back but today I thought I would make this card for you guys I'm gonna be using this stamp set mixed borders and then we're gonna be using the ink sugar sweet sugar plum which is not one of my favorite colors but it coordinates with my designing paper my designer paper so for mixed borders these borders um, I've used this card before I made a really cute card that I loved but I cut some of my stamps up like I cut some of my borders up and um, just so that I could use it how I want and then the reason I chose this stamp set is because it had a small sentiment. So we're going to use um, this, but I already have some pieces done. And for this, I'm going to make about 12 of these. So I like to get full cards, like full, um, you know, not just a card front. Like this would be a card front, and then you could attach it to a card base. I make full cards. So we have some sweet sugar plum cardstock and then I have this um, O oh succulent designer paper and I had a bunch of this and I wanted to use it and it has these great colors in it so I'm gonna do something that I typically don't do and I'm gonna layer these all crazy like this and if you guys have been watching my videos long you know that I'm a little slightly have a little case of OCD and this really bothers me like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle it but we're gonna try we're just gonna try to be crazy and have fun that's the whole point right so we're just going to take this and i don't even know like specifically we're just going to layer this so let me share with you my measurements so that you know what i've cut so the card base is five and a half by four and a quarter i cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock in half and i got this so then this green layer is three and a half by five. And then this designer, this uh, not designer piece, but this uh, piece that has the images is three and a quarter by four and a half. So we're just gonna make this all wonky too and see if I can deal with it. Okay, so here's our wonky looking card. So now I have some pieces. This I cut from the Swirly Bird die set. And I'm going to show you how we're going to layer together these items and then we'll put it together. So then I have a scalloped square. This is from some Tip Tap Taupe cardstock. And then we have a white layer that we're going to layer on there. We could make that piece wonky too, but I don't think I could handle it. So I think I'll make it straight. So on this white piece, I'm going to take my sugar sweet sugar plum and we're gonna stamp I simply adore you I say adore a lot like it's one of those words that I kind of use overuse so when I saw this sentiment I thought it was perfect all right so let's layer a couple of these pieces up the white piece we're just gonna layer flat because we're gonna pop this whole piece up here so with the tip tap taupe, we will add four dimensionals. will probably be perfect. Let's do five. We're living on the edge with this card. So let's just do five. Okay, so then we're gonna take this piece right here and we're gonna have to use some liquid glue. Now all of my pieces, when I cut this out, they didn't all pop out like all my little intricate pieces, even though I used the precision plate, but it's okay because we're layering it. So I tried to just let it go. Like there's a little piece right here that didn't pop out. There's a little piece right there that didn't pop out. We're going to go with it's fine. So then let's add some twine. Now for all 12 of these swap cards, I do not know if I will add the twine to it. I just put some adhesive right there in the middle. Of course, we're gonna have to add twine because how cute is this? So I just did uh, several little loops and I'm pressing into that adhesive 
and then we're gonna put the square over it with those dimensionals so it will hold. So we're right here. I keep wanting to turn it because the cardstock's all crazy looking. Okay, so now we'll take this piece and we're going to add that right over the square. We're going to try to make this piece not crooked, even though it's hard with that paper. But then that's my card, which is totally different for me, you guys. This is not a card I typically make. I'm not really big on adding a designer paper to my cards. I tend to not add a lot of that to my cards. I tend to keep it more simple, but I really love the way this turned out and I love all of the layers. I think it'll be fun to swap this card. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out my card. There will be no video on Tuesday, but there will be a video on Wednesday and Friday. So you'll wanna make sure that you check those out. And then also make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be doing Instagram photos and stories of my trip coming up this weekend um, to the onstage local with Stampin' Up. So thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later.